I got him. Now, I've got to hope like hell that everything you promised me, Tim Strickland, is for real with those heads. Oh my gosh. I don't know how long it's been since I've gone live before this. I had 16 cows come through, two bulls and a spike. Both bulls were under 200. I didn't get my hero, but I had a good one. He's well over three. He's not the 360 plus. The son of a... I'm live, I got it. <laughs> the son of a gun, son of a cow. He freaking bedded that clump of trees right there. There was no need for a range finder, but I'm gonna range it. Twenty eight yards. He bedded at twenty eight yards. The cows and calves came through and the young bulls come through between me and him. He freaking laid down and was laying down that whole time until obviously I just turned on the camera again. He got up, I could see his eyes and I could see the tips of his whale tails and he got up and I drew and as soon as he freaking walked in and opened it, I hammered him. That's the good news. Here's the bad news is I have to trust him. My old coach Strickland who made those broadheads. Remember that broadhead test they did a long time? Well. It seems like a long time ago since I've been in the mountains. We're gonna find out if it's for real. And I certainly didn't do it on purpose. But it's a pretty steep angle going up to it. It never looks as good on camera. Where the freak, oh, there it is. Oh, I'm so bad at this, especially when I'm just jacked up. There, that's where he stopped out in a shot. My rangefinder says that's a, I'll tell you what angle it is. Maybe I can. Freak, where'd my rangefinder go? Here it is. It's a 24 degree angle uphill. So, anyhow, I hope like freak that I came in underneath his left shoulder. He was broadside walking, obviously, side hill. I came in underneath his blade, I hope, and I hammered his other shoulder blade. I don't know if he dropped the shot. Man, I wish I had somebody here, but if I had somebody here, I don't think I could have pulled this off. <clears throat> I've got no cover. That's my cover, that little island of trees I told you about. So I saw the arrow going and broke. I don't know, I got about half penetration, which should be plenty. I know I got one long. I heard him ripping down through the, through the drainage. He's a dang good bull. He's not the one I was after. I got two days ago, I slept in rain and snow and sleet and hail and it's snowing again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I've never had to rely on my equipment so much in my entire life. I probably did actually, but I don't remember when. I can't think of a setup I'd rather have right now though. I got my carbon air. That's what I hammered him with, set at 70 pounds, actually 71 pounds, I think. Cranked all the way down. I scrambled to put it together. <laughs> oh, freak. I love this game. <laughs> I got a dragon good job to do. <clears throat> I'd love to take you along with it, but I'm sitting at around 60% battery life. I got my dark energy back at camp and I gotta make sure I got enough to take photos or to feel myself cry just a little bit. <laughs> Either way, my solo adventure has finally come to an end. Two days left. It took me that long to pack them out. Go see a couple friends that I met while I was up here and an old friend that's been with me kind of through this whole season on and off. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what to say. I just, <laughs> it's kind of a stupid video to watch, I'm sure, but I'm so freaking jacked, I can't even mean to explain it. My mom and dad have been so worried about me by myself out here. They're thinking like grizzly bears are gonna get me, and lions, and... <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I gotta go. Peace out. I'm gonna drag. I'll let you know. <laughs>